We're looking at one of the richest fossil fish sites in the world of its kind. There's never been a <clears throat> deposit dug up like this. Maybe there never will be again. Rarer but more important elements of the Canoundra fish fauna are these very large lobe fin fishes, which were the ancestors to the first land animals or tetrapods. It's a fascinating time in the history of the Earth, and it's a fascinating discovery here in terms of the fidelity of the fossils, that is their high quality. Just outside the town of Canoundra in central west New South Wales, more than 4,000 pristine fossilised fish from a time well before dinosaurs walked the earth were discovered. Now one couple has purchased the farm next door to the remarkable site in the hopes of finding evidence of the first animals to make their way onto land. You have to do something in your time, but this is, this is as good as anything I can think of. While some people opt for the camper van or a retirement on the coast, the McGraths are getting their hands dirty. Continuing a legacy from the early 90s when paleontologist Dr Alex Ritchie uncovered thousands of fish here from the Devonian era, around 360 million years ago, and put them on display in the nearby Age of Fishes Museum. Oh, it's, it's the greatest dig in my career. I mean, to have a whole town working for you and all the help and the volunteers and the, the, the community involvement has been fantastic. The original dig uncovered almost 4,000 pristine fossilised fish from a time well before even dinosaurs walked the earth. And it was restricted to just the public land by the side of the road. We're looking at one of the richest fossil fish sites in the world of its kind. There's never been a <clears throat> deposit dug up like this. Maybe there never will be again. It's fantastic. The Devonian period was a critical time in the evolution of life on Earth, with animals making their way onto land and developing limbs and lungs. With some of the lobe-finned fish found at Canoundra, direct ancestors to those first animals to do so. And it's interesting because it could breathe air through nostrils as well as gills. And inside its fins, here, the front fins, there are a series of bones that are equivalent to the humerus, the radius, the ulna, and the bones of the wrist. And it was a fish like this that gave rise to the first land animals 360, 70 million years ago. It's not our ancestor, but it's a very close cousin. Dr Ritchie's children say he always dreamed of extending the dig site onto nearby properties. And he was thrilled when he found out another fossil enthusiast had snapped up the site. So it just... It kind of gives us a bit of comfort knowing that Dad's vision will hopefully continue. It's kind of a dream comes... If, if David is the guy from Central Casting, if you needed a fossil enthusiast, you would actually say, him please, and for him to come along and then meet Dad and say, look, I want to make your dream a reality is, is extraordinary. Just like back in the day, David and Alicia McGrath have invited the community along to help with the excavation work and share in a love for paleontology. We don't see this as our project at all, we see it as a, as a social project and we want them to be involved and, and enjoy the, the story that's being told here. Experts in the field say there's a real chance of finding some incredibly important fossils from a critical time in the evolution of life on Earth. That is when fish first started to walk on land. So we had the invasion of land by plants, by animals, uh, insects and lots and lots of things happening through that period of 60 million years or so. Paleontologist John Long from Flinders University says the Canoundra site is the exact right age and environment for finding such evidence. And hopefully the holy grail of all this would be to find a, an early tetrapod, you know, a four-limbed animal, because they're extremely rare. There's only about a dozen in the whole world from, from the Devonian period known. David McGrath has big plans for the site and hopes to one day build a tourist attraction here to display the fossils right where they were found and hopefully show some people that the field isn't all about dinosaurs. The story is just as interesting as dinosaurs. People get you know, excited by dinosaurs because they're so large, they grew so large, but, but a lot of good things were happening here in the evolution of organ systems and, and, and brain and lungs and, and you know, the story is just as good, if not more interesting, than dinosaurs. Thank you.